right, guys. Now we're getting ready for the, I guess, tag team, tag team elimination. These are, of course, going to feature uh, people from the tag division. So, okay, let's see who we're going to start it off with first. As we wait, I swear, everybody just taking their time back there. I guess walking from the locker room to the uh, ring. There we go, finally. It's getting all hazy here at Silent Hill Arena. Who's this going to be? Representing the Universal Monster Squad, it's Count Dracula and the Invisible Man. Dracula losing hair on the side there? What the hell's going on there? He almost struck a kid, you see that? What a villain. But here they come. Turn now the Monster Squad team, uh, it's been very hit or miss for these guys. And we all thought they were going to do a lot more when they came in. And they did pretty good starting off, but... Seems to be a lot of friction now between Wolfman and Frankenstein's monster. But the Invisible Man has joined the team and interested to see what he brings to the table. And of course, everybody kind of refers to Dracula as the leader of the group. And of course, they are on the side right now of the tag team champs, a couple of psychos. So, be really interesting to see here. You think the Invisible Man would just get rid of all the outfits, the clothes, and he'd be invisible? Then you wouldn't see him. I kind of feel like his whole thing is. This whole gimmick is kind of, you know, it's been covered up right now. Like he's not utilizing what would make him effective in that ring, but I don't know. His thing, I guess. Like be invisible. Don't just walk around with bandages on your head. They're going to see where you're at. And here we go. Tag team champions coming out. There they are. Look at this guy, Norman Bates. And of course, you know who's going to be following him soon. Patrick Bateman. They are a couple of psychos. There they come right now. Yeah, you want to think they're a couple of cool guys, but uh, it looks kind of lame. But don't let that fool you. They have been the best tag team so far. Well, them and the Masterminds, I guess, are really the top two tag teams. You know. Really care to see what's happening when they, when they cross paths eventually. But that's for a different time. Right now, these two guys need to focus. As Norman Bates' uh, jacket is going through the belt. Boom. A couple of psychos indeed. You know Bayman jamming the, some Huey Lewis in the news there. Now they're going up against, you know, the Freddy Force. And I kind of feel like this is kind of a cheat team. Like this is horror movie villain, you know, wrestling. Like this, these are video game villains. And don't try to say Nemesis and Silent Hill Nurse because they were from the films. That's from Resident Evil Apocalypse and Silent Hill, respectively. There is no Five Nights at Freddy movie yet. Yet. There will be. Who knows these characters will even be in it. Am I overthinking it? Am I, put, am I taking this too seriously? Am I taking this faux wrestling promotion seriously? I guess I'll calm down. As we patiently wait for these goddamn... Uh, Teddy bears come out. 
It's going to be really interesting to see how the Freddy Force works as a unit. There's four of them. And three of them are Freddy's. How crazy is that? There we go. The Freddy Force. I got a uh, Freddy Fosbear, Freddy Frostbear, Funtime Foxy, and the only one I don't see out there right now is a uh, Ignited Freddy, because for some reason in this day and age we can't have four people come out in the goddamn entranceway. So all I'm saying is we've been having trios entering forever, forever, and you'd think someone at 2K Sports would figure out how to make it four or even five people to enter at once together. And we don't. I guess Ignited Frey just teleported down there. What the fuck? Anyways, we're starting things off. Freddy Fosbear and uh, the Invisible Man. Not so invisible though. I can see everything. I can see the entirety of him. It's ridiculous. And he, oh, just drives him into it. And I thought Norman was going to do something. This is the same time someone's ran. He's still not doing it. Oh, there, look at that. Oh, he threw him off. There you go. Now can the uh, Invisible Man... Oh, he only did he uh, counter there. Or capitalize, I should say. He's now tearing ass all over Freddy here. And here comes Dracula. I don't know how crazy move they're doing here but oh huge assisted flying clothesline as Dracula just laying in those leg drops and this could be it one kicks right out of it god damn the vampire he don't give a fuck cause you know he's a vampire why should he and he hits it and oh he missed the splash he missed the splash. Here comes Frostberry. Seems like he could be the powerhouse of the team. So fun time, Foxy. Like uh, I don't know what to is it trans. Like is is he trans? Because I thought it was a female competitor. I thought literally they had a female competitor, and it turns out dude's a dude. Who would have guessed? And they bring back the Invisible Man. Why wouldn't Count Dracula tag out to, you know? Couple of psychos, but I guess technically it's just you know out of habit, hard or anything else. And Dracula's having like a conniption fit out there. Frostbear's tired of seeing it. Frostbear tearing up on the Invisible Man right now. And he's just rolling around. Oh, right into the corner, and then comes Foxy Funtime, or Funtime Foxy. Sorry. I have not actually played the games. I played like knockoff versions of the games, but never actually played Final Fantasy Freddy. Sure, it's awesome. Oh shit, Dracula! He just got staked by Night Freddy. And that's the thing. There's like so many Freddies. Why is there three Freddies on this team? I guess Ignite Freddy. He's you know burnt up version of Freddy Fazbear. But then why is there a Frostbear. Like, why is Freddy frozen all of a sudden? And now it's Ignite Freddy having a conniption fit. Invisible Man trying to crawl out. Dude, these robots, I mean, these animatronic bastards are just tearing him up. In comes Norm Bates. Oh, man. To no avail either. As Ignite Freddy just kind of lost his own little, he's in his own little time loop over there, just doomed to keep doing this over and over. Man, and guess what? All the power in the world for Funtime Foxy. And Foxy's going for it. There it is, tagged out. So now hopefully, yeah, he calmed down. Everybody's calmed down. Oh, now is he gonna be? Uh, Freddy Fosbear for no. Nope. My God. And Frostbear. Oh, he's just dominant. Throws him back. 
and Bates. There is Caught in the Camel Clutch. Rope break. Got to the rope finally. Well, that's the whole price you pay of doing the submission moves right next to the ring ropes. Foxy working on the arm right now, but missed that. Bates back up, and oh, just clobbers her right in the face. One. Oh. Now we're breaking down a little bit. This little man on the outside there. But right now, Freddy Fosbear is being counted out. And there we go. Oh, Foxy. And now the Iron Man will do the, or the Invisible Man will do the, nope, he didn't freak out, but his face did, though. And, oh, big, big five-time Freddy Jammer. One, two, oh, Bates. And Frostbear back in. Frostbear is the one you have to watch out for. He seems like the most powerful to support. It's like he's going to do the most damage. And Bates. Oh, man. Not looking good for the tag team champion. Or co-host, I should say. Back up on his shoulders. Drops him. Oh, no, just decks him. That's all a hoopla for nothing. One, two, three, and oh, man, Dracula fell short. And now he is the easy legal man? Nope, it's the invisible man. Oh, Frostbear puts him down. One, two, three. Oh, I thought for sure that was the end of that. I thought for sure the invisible man was going to disappear after that. No pun. Yeah, that pun was intended. Come on, let's be real. Let's be real. And now, Funtime Foxy knows how to keep you. And that's it. What? Wait, no. Oh, there it is. I was like, Dracula ran out. He's gonna save, and then ran out. What that was all about. Oh, in the days right there. Covers one, two, and oh, but Bateman makes the save. Which got to be difficult for him because his partner was just counted out. Oh, but elbow right to the face. I forgot this old man was the illegal guy in there. Referee is pretty lax with the rules. Oh man, out of it. My God, little man. And now we got Dracula, we got Bateman, and the Freddy Force is teaming up on Dracula on the outside. Huge suplex. On the steel. My God. Oh. And of course, I don't think Bateman even knows about this going on over here. It don't matter. Frostbear is going to bring him into the action. Oh. Just Dixon. Unite Freddy trying to keep him in. Just keeps running into him. Why is the referee counting slower as he gets to the end? I guess since Frostbear is the legal guy. He... There we go. Now they're both on in. He's out there tearing up Bateman. He's tearing up Dracula. Doesn't seem to be a scratch on any of these guys. Well, except for, you know, 
ignite Freddy, but let's be real, that's kind of who he is. Dracula throwing him around. Oh, he just, oh, he got caught. Oh, that was not good. Oh, Freddy Fosberg going back in there. Begging him to get back in there. Begging him. And like he goes after Bateman is dead. My God. Oh, and why would you break the count like that? You freaking, you had it. You had Dracula defeated there. I mean, it, this Freddy Force, I mean, they just don't care. They just don't care. I mean, that's the point. They're trying to make an impact tonight. They're going to show that all four of them are just going to crush and rip through you. Oh! He just drove that stake through his heart. Hit him on it. Look at it. Oh! But Dracula backs out of it. Got to give him that. He's, he's fighting back. Frost bear in the corner. Dracula just landed into him and choking him out. Now I'm not sure if you can choke an animatronic and they'll fill it or not. Although I feel like Nick Cage choked one in, you know, Wally's Wonderland. So who knows at this point? Who really knows? I thought Dracula was going to tag him Bateman, but he decides against it. Like I said, it's like, oh, he feels like he's too good. There you go, finally. Here we go. And, oh, look at that. Pancake team. Flat Jack. Bateman going to the top. He's going to try to put him away. Huge elbow drop. Cover him. One. Oh, not even a one count. Or it was a one count. Kicked right out. Has him up. Nope, went for Fisherman, turned it around, and oh, just clotheslined him. Just about took his goddamn head off. And oh, went for that choke slam chop thing. I don't know what the fuck it is, but effective. One, two, three. And now it's Dracula in a four on one attempt against the Freddy Force. And the Freddy Force, they are working as a unit. I gotta say, I'm proud of them. I'm impressed. I really am. And now, is he going to drop him on his neck on the steel? Oh, right into the guardrail. And that's concrete. That is concrete. Dracula can't get up. We may have just found the most dominant force in the HMW world right now in. Ready for us. Is Dracula just going to go for a double count? Nope. Nope. Well, Match is back in the ring. Frost Bear. Dracula. But no, Dracula takes him right back to the outside. You got to think there's a strategy here. You got to think there's a strategy here. Was out there, catches him, and he oh, just throws him back down onto the steel. And look at that, putting a nice little nerve hold on him. Well, you know, you take out the arm, take away the choke slam. But Freddy Fosbear ain't having none of that shit. Oh, elbow right in the face, in the face again, third time. But Frostbear fighting back. My God. Throws him into the ring. Look, not in the ring, but into. And he's just out of it. I don't think this vampire thought for a second he'd have this much trouble with these animatronic killers. But my God. Just look at him. And huge belly to belly. And that's it. Cover him. It's over. One. Two. And he kicked out. How did he kick out of that? Are you kidding me? Oh, we rag. He's ragdolling. him. 
Got him up. I was going to go for an choke slam. Nope. Going to drop him neck first right there. Oh. This is just getting hard to watch. He's got him into the corner. And here comes Foxy Fun Time. And assisted crossbody from the top. That's it. One, two, three. Oh, man. Dracula not going down without a fight. And comes Ignited Freddy. The most angry of the uh, Freddy Force. He's working you over right there. I just don't think I just don't see how he's gonna beat any of these people. And oh up and he's down. Hardest part of the ring, as you know. And now Dracula is just taking upon himself to become a one man wrecking crew. Man, give Dracula all the credit in the world. This guy could have been taken out long ago, and he's just taking the fight to all four of them. Look at him. One Freddy Fosbury getting get in the ring. And oh, man. But I believe Ignite is the uh, legal man. Yeah. Man, that's gotta be it. I'll be shocked if he gets if he gets the one, two, three, and there it is. And we've had first time tonight. An entire team goes four together. The Freddy Force wins it. The Freddy Force wins it. My God. I mean, you know what? They wanted to make an impact here at HMW. I think they did.